The Flintflon Bombers were in Estevan for two straight games January 14th and 15th. After the Estevan Bruins lost to Larange, they needed both wins to get back to 500 on the season. The Bruins drew first blood early as before the game was three minutes old, Tanner Frays notched his 10th of the year right off the faceoff. With Josh Zielinski in the sin bin for an interference penalty, the Bombers struck to tie the game at one. Bruins goalie Tyler Ross didn't have much of a chance as he was screened and the puck was tipped. Zielinski didn't take long to make up for his penalty. 12 seconds after the game was tied, the captain gave his team the lead again, jumping all over a loose puck in front of the net. Early in the second, Flynn again tied the game up, this time at twos. And that was all the offense in the second period, as the teams were tied after 40 minutes of play. The first two periods had early goals, and the third was no different. This time it was Bruins' Matt Brickelick scoring on the power play to make it 3-2 Estevan. It turned out to be the winning goal as the Bruins added an empty netter and won 4-2. After the game, coach Keith Cassidy said his team did a good job at not making the costly mistakes. Well, you know what, I think we, uh, as opposed to last night, we, we eliminated the mistakes that were extremely costly. I mean, I'm not saying we eliminated all of them, but we did a better job tonight of, uh, first of all, limiting them, and then when we did make them, we did a real good job of covering for each other and helping out. And you know what, hockey's a game of mistakes, they're going to be made, um, but our guys tonight real, really um, wanted to help each other out and they were backing each other up at every turn and that's, uh, that's an encouraging sign. The game was close right to the end and Cassidy says winning a close one will build confidence for the team. Yeah, and you know what, from the beginning of the year uh, we've been preaching that uh, these are the kind of games we want to win, the close ones. You know what, the 9-1 games that you win, they don't teach you anything. Um, when you can battle through and stick together and have the confidence to, uh, to play in those tight games um, and you get used to being able to do that, that's going to go a lot farther than uh, blowing teams out 9-1, 8-2 or whatever it is. So I'm encouraged by this. You know, and we've, we've had a few uh, before Christmas that were like that and we, you know, we snuck some of them out. Some of them we were on the losing side of it. But you know what, the more often that we can get, you know, in a one goal game and, and show uh, the discipline, the dedication, and the commitment to closing those games out, the better team we're going to be. Tyler Ross got his first win as a Bruin, and he credited the defense for helping him out. Uh, defense was amazing. They blocked, I think, at least five or six shots in the last ten minutes of this game, which was big for us, and made a couple easy saves, got me going again, but then came out nice. With Bruins goalie Stephen Glass out with an injury, Ross has been leaned on by the team, and he said he has been welcomed by everyone. Oh yeah, uh, for, like they welcomed me right away, and I felt part of the team my first day here. A really nice feeling. Yeah. Usually it's not like that. You shut out for a little bit, and then they, <laughs> then they get to know you. But right away, came out, got to know him. It's really nice. Winning back-to-back -back games against the same team is always a tough task, but the Bruins were up for the challenge as they squared off with the Bombers again. A scary moment early in the game as a Flynn Flon player went headfirst into the boards. He was taken off on a stretcher for precautionary reasons. He sustained a concussion, but no other injuries. The Bruins jumped on the Bombers early and were able to score the crucial first goal. Josh Jelinski jumped on a puck in front of the net and jammed home what would turn out to be the game-winning goal.
Jelinski gave the Bruins some breathing room in the second period as he ripped home a goal short side to make the score two to nothing. Playing the same opponent two nights in a row can cause some hostility and it was evident neither of these teams liked each other as both Dominic Perot and Austin Yano picked dancing partners from the Bombers. Flynn Vlaan pressed hard in the third to break Bruins goalie Tyler Ross's shutout, but they couldn't get one past him. Michael Hagen added an empty netter and Bruins won 3-0. Ross registered the first shutout for the Bruins since February 13, 2009, and also the first at Spectra Place for the SJHL team. After the game, Coach Keith Cassidy said he enjoyed the effort put forward by his team. Well, what I was impressed with, I'll tell you, is that um, you know we, we got into a bit of penalty trouble there at the end, um, and we had guys stepping up and blocking shots like nobody's business tonight. I mean, I, that, that was the most heart and soul effort that I saw in terms of you know wanting to help out and preserve the shutout for the guy. Um, you know, we've got a bunch of bumps and bruises right now that uh, are going to be resultant of that, but, um, you know, that's the kind of play you need. So, pleased with that. Zelensky said the win was all part of accomplishing the team's goals. Yeah, it was real big, you know, get back to 500 there. We set our goal at the uh, start of the weekend, uh, get back to 500 this weekend, and uh, it was great to see we accomplished it. All the Bruins enjoyed the shutout, and Zelensky said he was happy to see the team's hard work pay off. Yeah. Yeah, well, we've been working hard on DNR uh, in practice, and it's nice to see it's paying off. Uh, biggest thing is we've been talking to each other out there on the ice, and uh, we've done a good job uh, staying focused in our own end and getting pucks out when we need to. Yeah. The Jelinski, Puzlowski, and Doshlo line has been playing great, and Cassidy says it helps the whole team. Well, again, it's like uh, Doshlo last night. Those guys work so hard, and it's nice when they get reward when they get rewarded for that hard work. Um, you know, a couple of huge goals by him. And, uh, you know, I think that line sort of sets the tone for us right now. They go out there and uh, I think their uh, energy and enthusiasm sort of uh, permeates throughout the team. So, you know, hopefully uh, they're all okay and ready to go on Friday and uh, they can continue to lead us. For EstevanMercury.ca, I'm Reese Kelso.